Today I'm just gonna make a quick video on um, the booting priorities of this Gigabyte motherboard here. I have a um, 970A DS3P motherboard from Gigabyte, the dual BIOS. Um, so I ran into an error where basically the computer, whenever I turn it on, it would say um, boot manager gone, press control alt delete to restart the computer. And the only way I could get around that was um, to, when it was booting up, hit F12 to, not F12, um, yeah, F12, to bring up the priorities of, not priorities, um, so I'd hit F12 to bring up um, all of the devices that are connected to my computer. And basically that's the only way I could start Windows. Like I had to click on my SSD manually every time that I wanted to turn on my computer. And it's a hassle because like sometimes I don't catch it and it just goes to the loading and then it just stops because it's not like finding um, the Windows um, directory to start Windows. So to fix that, I ran into a few things. I couldn't figure out how to actually get to changing the boot option up here. Like these, um, see how it says um, boot option priorities at the top. Sorry for my um, crappy video. I'm using a, a web camera because I can't actually get a screen recorder on this. Um, but every time I click on this, I already did fix it, but um, as you see, my uh, Samsung 850 Evo right there um, underneath the one that's highlighted so you guys can see it. This one. Um, it wasn't there. It wouldn't show up. It would show up as some other hard drive I have connected to my computer but I don't want to boot off of those two. So to fix that what I had to do was I had to go into hard drive um, BBS priorities click enter and then this is basically where your um, booting priority happens. So basically I set this one to my 850 EVO and then all the other ones are disabled. So the top one is on the 850 EVO SSD. So now I can just go back and then once I do that it will be inside this list right here for the first um, boot option number one. So if you guys can't really see that, my apologies again, but um, it says boot option number one, so I just want to click my uh, A50 EVO. And then the second one I can probably just set as my DVD drive. So if I ever needed to boot off a disk or something, that's there. All right, so now I can just go ahead and click escape and then quit without saving. Um, no. I already did this, so you guys would save this. I already did it, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and click yes. But as you see, now it's starting Windows. And I looked over the website, well, I looked over the internet a lot for ways of fixing this kind of problem, and I couldn't really find any solution to it, so um, I finally figured it out instead of my BIOS because this motherboard is a bit tricky, it's not like the BIOS of other motherboards, it's, um, it looks fancier, but um, some of the more, some of the things are more tedious as, rather than just a plain, like, flat out, laid out board would be, because this is more advanced, I should say, because there's a lot more fine tuning you can do. Alright, so, yeah, um, now, if I wanted to, all I need to do is restart my computer, and just for proof that it didn't just, like, boot that one time, here we go, so now my computer's restarting. 
beep. Not clicking anything. Starting Windows. Alright, awesome. So, so any of you guys having that problem with this motherboard, I thought it was kind of tedious at first to figure out, but once I figured it out, I kind of just was like, why would it take that long to figure out? It's kind of just right there, but you just got to look for it. Alright, um, hope this helped you guys out. Leave a comment, like, subscribe.